Hi everybody, happy Monday. Breaking Coyotes news here from the AZ Central newsroom. Oliver Ekman Larson has been named the new star of the ABC hit series, The Bachelor. So look for that in his hometown uh, in Sweden. No, I'm just kidding. That's, that's an April Fool's joke the Coyotes put out earlier today. But there is a lot to talk about with the Coyotes this time of year. Yeah, outside of big Bachelor developments, which obviously are the most important mm. playoffs. They're coming up. Coyotes are still alive right now. Rick, what needs to happen for them to make the playoffs? Yeah, they need some help. I mean, they had their most uh, important stretch of the season this past week. They took five of six points, but that still wasn't enough to put them in the driver's seat. They need some help. Colorado is the team in front of them right now. They play tonight in St. Louis. If Colorado does not win that game, there is only one point separating those two teams for the second wild card spot with three games left on both teams' schedules. So they need some help. The Coyotes get a big win last night against the Minnesota Wild. Still, they need some help if they're going to get in. Now, this will be the first time they'll make the playoffs since 2012 if yes. it happens. What changes have you seen with the organization over that time to get them back to this point? Yeah, I mean, it starts and ends with Rick Tockett and, uh, uh, and John Chaika. I mean, the way John Chaika has rebuilt this roster in the past few years, only I think Oliver Ekman Larson and Brad Richardson are the only uh, two players that have been here for, for more than three years. I mean, that's, that's just crazy. There's no roster turnover like that anywhere else. And then Rick Toggett, this is his second year as head coach. I thought a lot of the younger players on the team had a big learning curve okay. when it came to learning Rick's system uh, last year, but it seems like they've all bought in and they're more uh, adept to it right now. So I think it's it's a buy-in thing, and I think that John Chica went out and got the players who were able to adjust to. So uh, it's sort of cohesive like that, but um, that those are the main changes that I've seen. Now they've got a few games left. Outside of strictly wins, what do you think will be important for the Coyotes to see during this last stretch? Yeah, you just want to see them playing well. You want to see them embracing the pressure. I mean, these are young players, and this experience is so important for them. Uh, that's why I really liked uh, Sunday's game against the Minnesota Wild. The players seemed loose. They played well. Uh, these are pressure games. These are really hard games to play in, but this, this is what you should want as a player, right? So uh, I think that's what I'd be looking for. You want to see the team staying loose. You want to see them playing well. You want to see them embracing this pressure because years down the road, this could be the year that lays the foundation for uh, future contending teams. Totally. And so Rick will be following any Coyotes updates, any Bachelor updates. Of he is your point of contact for that.